Now, from Eyewitness News, this is a live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. We are looking at a big storm for Tuesday with a number of impacts to us here in southeastern New England. We'll talk all about them. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar is nice and dry. We've got mainly clear skies. Threat tracker tonight, Monday, low chance of anything severe. Tuesday, that's when we're looking at the issues. Blizzard watch in effect for the Providence metro area and areas to the south and east. Winter storm warning in effect for the rest of the area and a winter storm watch in effect for Block Island. So we got a, a lot to get to. We've got clear skies, nice and dry. Temperatures are in the teens to around 20 degrees. This is unseasonable cold here in southern New England. 18 degrees on Route 2 in Warwick. It feels like 11 with a wind of about 5 miles an hour. Satellite radar picture. It's quiet across the northeast. Certainly some good news there. So here's what the overnight looks like. Low temperatures around 11 with mainly clear skies taking you into the daytime tomorrow. Going to start off cold at the bus stops in the teens getting into the low 30s in the afternoon. Lots of sunshine, light winds. It'll feel almost tropical compared to what we had, especially during the daytime yesterday. All right, let's take a look at the big picture. Where is the storm coming from? The pieces are racing across the country. Some energy in the middle part of the country. Moisture gathering in the deep south. It's going to be merging off the coastline, forming into a storm system that will be heading almost due north and then kind of slowly turning off to the north and east and passing off to the south and east of Nantucket Tuesday night. But you can see the, the large uh, circulation associated with this storm on Tuesday. This is the position of the European computer model about two o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. Let's track the precipitation taking you through the uh, day on Monday. It's quiet sunshine giving way to some high clouds. Now Tuesday morning 4 to 8 a.m. That's when the precipitation starts. Look how quickly it turns into some very heavy snow. One to three inch per hour snowfall rate. I was just looking at some new information about the what we call the vertical velocities of the atmosphere and that can actually Actually lead to some thunder snow and that's what we could be seeing. I'm thinking around noontime two o'clock on Tuesday could be looking at some thunder snow on uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. Also could be looking at a little mixture of precipitation, maybe some sleet mixing in briefly in westerly, maybe some sleet in New Bedford out toward Cape Cod actually might find some rain for most of the storm out there on Nantucket still snowing at six o'clock in the evening and then it winds down mostly done by around midnight. How much 12 to 18 inches pretty much statewide a little bit less near New Bedford where they'll be finding that mixing. Now, if the storm tracks a little bit farther to the east, this 12 to 18 inches could easily fall in line right over New Bedford. It's also possible we could be seeing 18 inch amounts or higher in northern Rhode Island and over into uh, parts of southeastern Massachusetts. Kind of a uh, typical situation with a storm passing where it will be passing or we're expecting it to be passing that you get some really high amounts in that area. So we'll be watching for that potential the next 24 hours. Wind gusts, 55 mile an hour gusts south coast of Rhode Island, maybe close to hurricane force. Block Island, Cape Cod, the islands in the Providence area, 45 mile an hour gusts. Could lead to some wind damage, could also lead to some power outages. Travel impacts, not so bad first thing in the morning, but after 9 o'clock it quickly jumps to almost impassable uh, conditions with very poor visibility and snow falling heavily at times, leading to some clogged road ways. Power outage potential. We're looking at a low to medium threat south coast of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, especially school or no school. High chance of school cancellations for Tuesday across most of the area. Moderate to high chance Block Island, Cape Cod and the islands. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. There's that snow for Tuesday. Lingering snow showers for Wednesday and then the rest of the week looks like it'll be dry with sunshine, but still below normal temperatures. Looking at temperatures 30s and to low 40s as we head into next weekend. So again, tomorrow quiet. That storm arrives Tuesday morning, pretty much first thing in the morning, light stuff, then it quickly gets heavier. You know, maybe you'll have a nice opportunity for thunder snow and have that go viral again. That's okay. I loved it. It was it was neat to uh, experience that. Next time maybe I should probably shouldn't stand under a tree though. Yeah. It's probably wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Well, there's room to improve. <laughs> Still to come. 30 years of that famous